Today on WBLM News, Pope Francis canonizes a new saint, student council holds elections, and the Wolverines swim to victory. All this and more coming up right now. Good morning, Berlin. I'm Alejandro Guerrero. And I'm Stephen Kayas, and welcome to this edition of WBLN. Here are your news for today, September 24th, 2015. Adulation and fanfare greeted Pope Francis yesterday at Washington's National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. A trumpeting musical salute and a booming chorus of voices sounded as the Pope strode through the massive sanctuary. The entrance set the stage for the Pope's first ever celebration of Holy Mass in the United States. That Mass, delivered to roughly 25,000 faithful from the east steps of the Basilica, where he canonized Junipero Serra as a saint. Serra was an 18th century Franciscan who founded nine missions in present-day California. Seniors in the Latin American history classes joined thousands of others as they watched Pope Francis preside over a historic moment for the American Catholic Church. I feel so honored and blessed to be here at the canonization mass by Pope Francis. Uh, it's a blessing and he's such an inspiration to me and all those around us. The pontiff's visit is especially momentous on our campus because Francis is the first Jesuit pope. The pope ended the day in typical Pope Francis fashion, making his way to the crowd to bless people before retiring for the night. Pope Francis appeared to get political in his, in, in his first direct speech in the U.S. yesterday, speaking at the White House. The pope said climate change was a problem that must be resolved now. White House spokesman John Ernest said he did not believe the Pope was trying to persuade lawmakers with his comments. He said, quote, the goal of the Pope's visit and certainly the goal of the meeting was not to advance anyone's political agenda. And I think listening to the Pope's comments, it was clear that he was speaking with a passion and a conviction on the need to act on climate issues that was deeply rooted in his faith. So he wasn't seeking to deliver a political message. He was speaking from the heart. Pope Francis also touched on such issues as immigration, religious liberty, and marriage during his White House remarks. Behind closed doors in the Oval Office, the President and Pope held a rare one-on-one -on -one meeting, discussing other pressing global matters, from the Syrian refugee crisis to the battle against ISIS. The Pontiff is set to address a joint session of Congress later today, which the entire junior class will assemble to watch in the Coscuela. Tune in to our Midday Report as we bring you highlights and interviews from the address. Yesterday, during a homeroom, student council representatives held homeroom elections. Students voted on president and vice president for each homeroom. The president and vice president are in charge of homeroom activities and events. Congratulations to all the winners. A stampede during one of last night's rituals at the Hajj season was killed, has killed at least 453 people and left 700 others wounded in Saudi Arabia. That death toll coming from the Saudi Arabian government. The stampede occurred during the ritual known as stoning the devil in the tenth city of Mina, about two miles from Mecca. Hundreds have been killed in past years during the same ceremony. In ritual, crowds of pilgrims throw stones at three pillars. It's a reenactment of an event when, according to Muslim traditions, the prophet Abraham stoned the devil and rejected his temptations. The Hajj is an annual pilgrimage to Mecca, Islam's holiest site by devout Muslims. Now Stephen, tell us what's going on around the hallways for the rest of the week. Yeah, no, no, here we go. Let's see what's going on. The chess team will meet today at 3 p.m. in room F-208. The robotics club will be meeting Thursday in room I-121. The National Honor Society will meet today at 3 p.m. in the Coscuela. The Respect Life Club will be meeting today at 3 p.m. in room H-204. The Aviation Club will be meeting today right after school in room F-201. Anyone interested in aviation and aircraft is welcome to attend. Please see Mr. Vanskoy or Alejandro Hillman for more information. Operation Smile will be meeting this Thursday at 3.15 in room H221. Rocapa will be meeting at 3 p.m. in room H211. The Model UN will be meeting in room H213. Attention all 10th, 11th, and 12th grade students. If you're currently in an honors or AP math class and have a 3.5 cumulative GPA, then you can join Mu Alpha Theta this year. The application and all pertinent information is available on the Belen website under Student Life and Clubs and Activities. 
The National Beta Club will be spearheading an initiative to help the homeless in our community throughout the entire month of September. You can donate travel-sized toiletries that you've accumulated over your travels. Donations may be dropped off in the main office or with Ms. Sosa in room G202. The club will be having their first meeting of the year Monday the 28th at 3.05 p.m. in the Cosquela Hall. Members may bring their toiletry donations for the homeless to this meeting. Now stay tuned as we bring you weather and sports right after these messages. Now on to Mark Novus with the weather. Thank you guys. This morning we've been experiencing a lot of rain and lightning and that should continue for the rest of the day. Let's take a look at your high lows. Today we will be expecting a high of 85 and a low of 75 with a relative humidity at 75%. Winds will be coming in from the east at 8 miles per hour. And we should also be expecting scattered thunderstorms and a 40% chance of rain. Let's take a look at your weekend. For the weekend, we should be expecting highs in the mid to high 80s and lows in the mid 70s, with a greater than 50% chance of rain for all three days. That's all for weather. Now back to you. Thanks, Mark. Now here's Francisco Blanco with sports. Thank you guys. The Belen Varsity sw swim team swam away, taking first against Christopher Columbus yesterday. The final score was Belen 162 to Columbus 140. Belen is now 3-0. Alejandro Carriazo, Juan Ramirez, Max Garcia Del Pozo, and Daniel Simpson came in first in the 200 relay with a time of 1 minute 39 seconds. The individual, in the individual events, Eder Fungairino, Alejandro Carriazo, Max Garcia Del Pozo, Juan, and Juan Ramirez all came in first in the 200 free. 100 backstroke, 100 butterfly, and 100 breaststroke. Alec Rods caught fire by hitting four three-pointers as the sixth grade basketball team defeated Our Lady of Lourdes, 49 to 22. Rods paced the Wolverines with 12 points, four, rebound, four rebounds, and four steals, while Luke Penny contributed 13 points, five steals, and four assists, and three rebounds. South Stewart added 12 points. The team welcomed St. Teresa on Monday at 3.45 p.m. All students interested in joining the wrestling team can show up to practices, conditioning, and introductions next Monday through Friday at 3.15 p.m. in the wrestling room. The varsity golf team will play at Palmer at the Rao. The JV golf team will play Riviera at the Baltimore. Tea time is 2.45. The middle school cross country team will, part will participate in the Ferguson Invitational at Larry and Penny Thompson Park. Tickets to this Friday's varsity football game against Columbus can be purchased in the bookstore. The deadline to purchase tickets is 11 a.m. on Friday. The supply of $10 tickets is limited. All tickets sold on game day will be $20. That's all for sports. Now back to you guys. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all the latest news and pictures. I'm Alejandro Guerrero. And I'm Stephen Caiz. And thank you for watching WBLN.